Hey guys, it's Brian and welcome back to Arrowhead Garage. Today, we're cleaning up the valves on our 1976 Porsche 912E Type 4 motor. Let me give you a shot of what we're doing here. Let me get you in closer. Let me look. So it doesn't matter if you're working on a Porsche, a Volkswagen, a Pontiac, a Ford, a Chevy. If you're going to reuse your valves when rebuilding your heads, you got to clean them up. I mean, look at these things. They're dirty. There's no way you want to put dirt back into a rebuilt head. So here's one that we pulled out, not been cleaned yet. And then here's one I just cleaned up. Now it's not perfect, but what counts is that outside edge that we're going to have to lap in another video. And on that bottom part, we need it to be nice and shiny to where we can get it to uh, lap the valves for later. And you can see it's a big difference. So let me show you how to do this at home. And it takes probably, you know, 10, 15 minutes per valve. A little time consuming, but trust me, it's gonna make a world of difference when you're rebuilding your heads. Let me show you what I do. So here we have a valve, and you can see it's pretty dirty. You can also see it's nice and shiny up here. This is the part that rides inside the guide when it's going up and down. You do not wanna mess this up. So we're going to take some tape and we're going to tape it right down to this bottom part and make sure we can cover this whole stem right here. Let me show you. So get yourself some painter's tape. Measure out enough so you can cover up that stem. Tear it off. Take your stem and right there where you uh, need to be at, just set it right there. So everything below there we can mess with. And up here, we're going to cover this with the painter's tape and just simply roll it around and get it on there. You don't have to be super precise, but we at least need to be able to make sure that we don't touch any of that stem. We just want to clean this back side of the valve and the face side of the valve. So now that you got that, that, that done, let's go over here to the vise and I'll show you what's next. Now I have an electric drill. And I have the trigger taped down, but it's not at full power. No, it's just enough, probably about 600 rotations per minute for this here to spin so we can clean that valve. So now you take your valve and you stick it into here and you tighten it up. Okay, nice and tight. Awesome. Now plug it in. So we start and we stop using the plug, not the button. Now, make sure you have no gloves on. You're going to get dirty, but that's okay because you're building a motor and real men get dirty. Let me show you. You need to pick yourself up some of these red uh, 3M scrub pads. There's a link down below. The reason why we want this is we want it just to clean off all the carbon that's been building up on the valve here. So you get some of these, there's a link down below to get yourself some of that. And you can use WD-40, but I like using this PB Blaster. Now, back in the day, we used to call this Pussy Blaster, which, you know, when you're in your 20s and you know how your life is when you're in your 20s and you're a boy. But we're gonna spray a little bit on here and we're gonna come over here and spray a little bit on the valve and just take our time. And it's probably gonna take 10, 15 minutes per valve, but you're gonna see a big difference when we're all done. Let's go into this. Okay, we're plugging her in. We got our pad. We got our stuff. We're simply just going to let it ride on there. Not a lot of pressure. Just let the drill do all the work. When it comes to this back side, same thing. Just kind of hold it down with a little bit of pressure. Move it around. Find different spots on the pad.
and just work your way on it. Put on some good music in your headphones and get to work. Okay, let's clean it up a little bit. We're going to take another rag. And it is messy, but hey. And we're just going to kind of clean it off. Okay, let's stop the drill and see what we did. Now, I did this in live time, so it was maybe, what, two, three minutes tops. Let me clean my hand here, and I'll grab the camera, and I'll take you in a little bit closer. Okay, so you can remember what it looked like. Look how much we've gotten off already. Look at that. Getting good. So I'm going to put you guys back in the camera. We're going to do fast speed, and I'm going to finish this up kind of show you how that valve was going to turn out when we're all said and done. So back in the holder we go and more of that. Okay, power on. More lube. Let's take a look at what we got here. This is going to be hot, so make sure you uh, protect yourself. There we go. We didn't damage anything here. So we can take the tape off. All right. We'll finish taking this tape off. Okay. There's one valve. Let me just kind of clean it off right here real quick for us. Now, let's see if we can see that. It is all nice and shiny again. No more deposits on this back side. There's a little bit right here at the base, but that's not going to matter anything. It's that seat right there that matters to us. And no damage to the stem. And that's what's going to go into the head there. So that is how you clean valves on an engine. So in case you're rebuilding a motor and don't want to buy new ones because you don't need them because they're not bent or anything, this is the way to handle it. All right, guys, this is how I clean the valves in my Porsche motors. And uh, eventually I'll be working on these Pontiac motors because I got that 67 back there to work on and we're building a 400 for her. But check that out. There's the differences just doing this little thing. It's something you do at home. You put some music on. You get your scotch bright pads, you get a little bit of W40 or PB Blaster, and you spend some time and you get your stuff looking practically brand new before you put your heads all back together. So if you like this uh, video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber and you want to see more about rebuilding Porsche motors or just rebuilding motors in your uh, two-car garage at home like I'm doing, hit that subscribe button and follow along because next thing we're doing is lapping the valves for the head and then we're putting the valves and the springs and the keepers in the head. And then eventually we're putting the head on our 67 Porsche.
So stick tuned and uh, we'll see you next time on Airhead Garage. Have a good one, guys.